so this is a really family friendly activity. I mean, you can come out here, anyone can do this. It's a lot of fun, it's really easy. And as you can see, there are thousands of people out here. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So, razor clams are one of the most popular recreational shellfish activities in Washington. And they're delicious and they're super easy to get, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so when I put my clam gun over a hole, I try to leave a little bit more space on the ocean side because the clams won't necessarily be, you know, perfectly centered under that hole. A lot of times they're a little offset more towards the ocean, so I offset my, my hole also. There's one. Oh, two. <laughs> yeah, <I'm dying>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's getting its foot out. They can dig pretty quick. You know, a few feet in a minute almost. If they're really motivated. They use their, uh, their siphon to squirt water out the neck um, and that contracts the foot muscle to dig down really quickly. The razor clam season in Washington usually runs from fall to spring and that's kind of for two reasons. 
Um, during the summer, during the warmer weather, that's when they have their spawning season. Uh, once the water temperatures warm up to like 55 degrees ish, um, they'll release their eggs and sperm into the sand and you know hope for the best. Um, and the other reason we don't usually dig for razor clams on the coast in the summer is because of issues with domoic acid. So clams are filter feeders and they, they take in plankton and during these warmer weather, weather sometimes we get uh, issues with domoic acid. So domoic acid is a, a naturally occurring toxin and it's produced by marine algae um, and often it's more abundant when there's more nutrients producing more algae um, and then shellfish eat the algae and um, the, the domoic acid accumulates in them. And the issue is that for humans, it can make you pretty sick. Um, in small amounts, you might just you know throw up, but in large amounts, it can actually be lethal. These are not clam holes. These are ghost shrimp holes. <laughs> Even though he's small, you have to keep them. Um, you have to keep each clam that you dig because if you put them back, especially if you crack the shell, then there's like an 80% to almost 100% chance that they'll die. So really you're supposed to take each one that you, uh, you dig. Even if they're little. Good one. <laughs> it's a good size clam. So when the clams aren't showing on their own, uh, we usually stomp around. Some people uh, hit the sand with their uh, shovel handle or with the clam gun. Um, we just stomp and walk backwards and then you can see the, the clams show as they, they suck down. Um, they make a little dimple in the sand as their siphon goes back down. So that stomping just kind of forces them to show on the surface. Oh, there's one! Oh, see right there? <laughs> Almost lost him. <laughs> you can get razor clams really a lot of different ways. Some people use shovels, um, other people dig with their hands. Uh, I prefer the clam gun and I really like the ones that have this air gap here. It makes it a lot easier to pull these up out of the sand. So when I'm pushing the clam gun down into the sand, I don't cover this hole right here. I just push it down like that and then you cover the hole with your finger when you pull uh, the clam gun up so that your cylinder of, uh, of sand gets suctioned into the gun and then you release it once you get to the surface and your blob of sand and hopefully a clam will uh, come out. So we usually try to get here a couple hours before the low tide and the lower the low tide, the more beach is exposed. And so you have access to more of the razor clam habitat, um, but you can usually get them, you know, two hours before and two hours after the low tide. Uh, if it's 
really good clamming, you'll get your limit in maybe 30 minutes for 15 clams. Uh, but if it's a little harder to find them, if they're not showing really well, it might take you an hour. Thanks so much for watching and happy clamming.